So I realized recently that we moved in here in August, I think, August. So August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Long time. I wasn't actually counting, but whatever. <laughs> Um, we have been living in this apartment for a long time now, and I haven't, like, shown you guys around. You've just seen, like, in the background. It's because things still aren't perfect, because we moved in, and then, like, we didn't have any time off, so... We, like, worked through the whole thing. I swear, the moment I start filming, my neighbor, like, either comes home or starts walking or some shit, and it's actually so aggravating. So this is the bathroom. It's like super basic. I got this at Target. I think I use it as a backdrop. So I have a collection of, um, I have like a collection of curtains, shower curtains, because I used to use them as backdrops from Target. What's going on in here? We just mopped, so our mop is in here. Do, 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 do. That's actually all garbage. Don't look up. But that's not cool. So there was a trend in Animal Crossing where people, um, basically like everybody I knew, put this in their little Animal Crossing bathroom. And so I put it in my real life bathroom. Um, we were having another reason why I didn't do like a tour is because we were having a really bad spider problem and like we were just getting so many spiders and so many bugs um, because the person who like lived here previously they had they redid this bathroom themselves and they kind of like did a shitty job so we have to redo the bathroom eventually, but just not anytime soon, like hopefully. Like the bathroom works, we have a bathroom, but it's like, okay, but I've, this is New York and I've seen the biggest spiders I've ever seen in this apartment. <laughs> so, and for someone with really bad arachnophobia, you can imagine how terrible that is. Yeah. I seriously like, can't tell what the sound I'm hearing is. But let's exit the bathroom. Jojo no kimi wo na boken. We have a... Oh. So to... Once you leave the bathroom, to your right is our, like, coat closet which we use to put all of our anime hoodies. Most of them are from Hypeland, the tie-dye hoodies. My section like is like right here. This is my half, which takes up more than half. It's, everything is like <laughs> so pushed together because there's so many. Do, 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 do. You will notice a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh accoutrement. And that's because we love Yu-Gi-Oh in this house. Don't look at that. I wonder how loud the mats are in the wash. We are doing a lot of cleaning. All these embroidered hoodies are from an Instagram shop called Loki Lewd. Very cool. I bought this at the Hype Land. The Hype Land pop-up shop at Anime NYC. Not at Anime NYC, but like on the same time as Anime NYC. Uh last year. Or two years ago or something. So 
Then you're in this room. This now sounds really loud. Sorry. Bruh. <laughs> but then we have my costume closet, which... Oh, I have this little Roscog with all the things for projects that I'm currently working on. I already showed this on Instagram, but not everyone here follows me on Instagram, so take your bet. Who do you think it is? You're probably right. Some trim and satin ribbon, lots of stuff. Um, and this just makes it really easy for me to like roll this out and sew and get shit done. We have a little light, baskets of works in progress and stuff like that. And then all my costumes and a bunch of sides from Spirit Halloween. Two of them are going to be used for one thing. I just need to like saw off that. Lots of stuff going on here. You guys have seen most of these. I haven't gotten too many more cosplays since I did my big cosplay video like all my costumes i got um i was gifted a quite a few actually from my patrons which is so so kind of them um and also my friend rayhan hi rayhan <laughs> i've been having this weird crisis about my appearance lately and oh thank you matt for this one very cool I really want to do, I know that uh, Kake Gurui is not like popular anymore, but I would like to do a Kake Gurui like video. I have some cosplay supplies, Warbla, Dai, this, my Cricut, uh, that is like four soft boxes that I use when I film, especially like green screen videos. I use that a lot a must and then power tools and and whatnot yeah and then christmas tree long board that i injured myself on um that i so it gets anyone who lives in an apartment in new york will tell you that it gets like crazy warm and so i have an acoustic guitar and also uh, skateboards that are made out of wood and as you can imagine the dry air is just not good for them and we'll get to what we do to combat that so then we have over here our tv we have this really cool mount that makes it come out and so if i don't know i'm watching tv over here it'll be like that and then if not, we can just move it. And I'll sit here on the couch and watch TV. Cool. Okay, Rude. What's your problem? Stuffs, 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 stuffs. My neighbor is really really cool we're really cool with him um so he loaned me uh yakuza <laughs> which i will get to playing i will i just haven't gotten to it yet fudge i literally today um i had a really cool bat trinket tray here that we use to put like all our keys and stuff like that but um it fell on the ground and shattered into a million pieces so we don't have one anymore so i'm in the market for a cool trinket tray a tray for my trinkets here's a picture of us at otakon last year we were um femboy hooters at the rave um, stories were told about us. Good ones, of course. And I have my little wieners. <laughs> Just, you know, chilling. 
here's the goods. So when we moved in here, I was like, okay, I have always wanted some Ikea Billy bookshelves for my stuff. I have always wanted some Ikea Billy bookshelves for my stuff. So we put, do, 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 do. it's not organized that well. Like don't, don't look at whatever's going on here. I accidentally turned that on just now. That is so weird. So we have like some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, a Gretzko who I love. Uh, I put some, I think mostly Shonen Jump manga up here. So we have like Death Note in the corner um, and a bunch of stress. I love Yu Yu Hakusho, Scott Pilgrim in the back being hidden, oof. And the boys, I need to dust. I love them. <laughs> then we have um, some romance novels and stuff like that. Not this. Um, Nika does an art. She gave this to me <laughs> uh, for Christmas because I love this manga. But I have I didn't like already own it, so I have it just like placed here. But I'm gonna just put it. Here, don't say anything to her. I I have read it already. That's why it's like here. I got this little thingy. I think I showed it to you guys. Because the character like that's inside of here that you literally can't see, so it doesn't matter, it looks just like me. <laughs> I had this commissioned um, from an artist. They're really, really cool. It is literally, I scanned an image from this art book. Because I love Given so much. Because I was a music student for like 18 years, like 16 years basically. Um, and music was seriously my life. It's sort of why like, honestly, I can, if I had the time to really do a lot with the audios from my videos, I really could because I'm seriously trained to edit audio. Do not read that. That was not good. I'm just covering it. Wotakoi is my favorite, like, how to say, my favorite slice of life, like adults. That's kind of distracting. Slice of Life, Adults, um, Manga slash Anime. The anime isn't that good. It's kind of slow. Manga's very, very good. Very good read. I have like two... Gosh, stop it. I have the like two because I wanted that one. Oh, these are so cute actually. Because this, I think this is the normal one. And this is the Kino Kunia special edition one. With them as kids. Absolutely precious. Then you have the Jojo shelf. And Fat Pikachu. Who's on my trinket tray. Um, I have Jonathan here. Looking beautiful, snazzy. This is... I think the most expensive figure I own, which I mean, that's not, it wasn't crazy expensive. It's like $170, but I don't know. It's just gorgeous. I think it's worth it. I, I would have paid more if I could have, or if I, I would, I feel like it's worth more than what I paid for. That's what I'm trying to say. You have Mista. I got that also on clearance. <laughs> I'm like a little coupon queen. I got it on clearance because the Think Geek where I got it, I had been eyeing it for a really long time and then they had a clearance sale and it went on clearance and I was like, whoa, these figures are like always so expensive. Um, but he was like, yeah, we only ever got one. It's a display one. Um, and nobody has ever like asked for it. So I got like, it was 50% off, so it was $60, and then I got a discount like for it being the display one, and then also I got a discount 
because I had the GameStop thing. Very cool. I got this recently at Anime NYC 2022. Very cool artist. I thought this was so cool. <gasps> Dio. I have a couple of Jenda Kiwis pins here. I have two more, but they're on my JoJo bag. Don't ask me why these aren't on my JoJo bag. It wasn't intentional. I have a couple of volumes here. Not many, obviously, but like I got this one literally just because... I am him and he is me. But I have all of uh, part one and part two, and I have the first one of part four. So cool. And this JoJo magazine is just, it's so pretty. I highly recommend taking a little browse in this. Um, They might not have it anymore. So then we have the special edition video game corner. And also, like, art books and stuff. Oh, maybe it was in that... No, it wasn't. Um, I have the Fire Emblem 30th anniversary. Yeah. 30th anniversary. Because I love Marth so much. So my partner got me this for, I think, my birthday. You guys have already seen... You guys have already seen... Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, Definitive Edition, uh, Fire Emblem Engage, Love. Who, for those of you who have played, who did you, who do you fancy? Who do you like? Who did you S rank? Then Shin Megami Tensei, and then behind that... That we have Metroid Dread. It's not my intention to cover it up. In fact, I'd like to reconfigure all of these shelves to be like much more cohesive. Um, but I'm so busy. I need to do like a little staycation. And then I just have a couple art books like Wotakoi, Q. You guys know I love Q. And this little, um, this came with a bunch of f folders that were really cool. Then I have my Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball slash Dragon Ball Z shelf slash Dragon Ball GT. I got that at round one a couple weeks ago. Nika got that for my birthday or Christmas and lots of stuff. Dragon Balls and Dad Yamcha. I'm so sorry. You guys have seen this. The very cool composer, Wen van der Linden, made this for me for my birthday a couple years ago. And it's, like, still one of the nicest things anyone has ever made for me. Because I love Bulma. And for someone to, like, physically make you a thing. Oh my god. It's so cool. Do -do -do -do. Then we have so many boots so many boots i can't wait to cosplay um sanji again sanji because i have these nami vans that my mom got me for christmas and they're so cool um i'm going like around i also have one piece umbrella shoehorn Doc Martens, Doc Martens, Doc Martens, Doc Martens, so many Doc Martens. I want to do a video. I bought these sort of for decoration, but also I want to, I have my longboard. Oops. I have my longboard. Um, but I do have these two decks that I want to make maybe one into a skateboard and one just for decoration because they're so sick. They're from Primitive. I don't actually know how good the... Is this not from Primitive? Maybe it... Wait. No, it is from Primitive. Okay. I don't actually know how good their decks are. That's the only thing. Because usually when I buy, like, a new skateboard or something like that, um, I'm kind of the type of person who 
likes to source parts and source parts for like, oh, this will make it go faster. This is like aesthetically, it's going to look like this, but you know, and also knowing where it's made. Um, but after my birthday last year, I went to Zoomies and they had these and I thought they were so cool. This also really matches my longboard because my longboard um, is called Nezuko because she has a little Nezuko um, pattern on the back. Then we have sleeping Pikachu. Cute, 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 cute. I love all these little plushies and stuff like that. I have all my, I know this looks so bad, but I have all my American comics in the bottom here um, because it's not like a small amount of them and they, I just don't like reread them all the time because I read them hundreds and hundreds of times over when I was younger. Here I just have a couple things that I read really often. Um, yearbook, album, uh, understanding kanji through pictures, sketchbook, cardstock, I I think one of my next videos is going to be this. This is my pattern book with all my sewing patterns. And recently I purchased quite a few. Next is a highly controversial shelf. It's my one piece shelf. Dude, I want this to like... See, what I need is... Like, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. A little light here to really just show them off. Just one, one second. The flashlight. But yeah. Um, I think the reason, the way that I have gotten so many so fast, even though I just like really kind of just got into One Piece in the past year, is because one, two, three, four, and five, all came together in like a, a bundle that my brother got me for Christmas. I won that at round one. I won that at round one. I think I won that at round one or I got it very cheaply on the same day. That I got probably a year ago now, a while ago. It was the first one that I had and actually we used her as a to hold incense in her hand. Um, and that ace my brother got me um, because I think he said something mean and it upset me or something. And so he got it for me. Uh, and it's, it's Gorge. One second. I just finished Marine Ford. If you know what that means, don't talk to me about it. Dude, I just think, wow, it's really, really big. And it's, it's just gorgeous. The highlighting in certain spaces is a little weird. Like, if you look dead on it, it's kind of weird. But I really, really like it. I think it looks sick. And then my brother also got that for me two weeks ago. So I have three brothers, two of them are older than me and one of them is younger than me and we all watch one piece we're all sort of in different stages i finished marine ford my younger brother's caught up my oldest brother's caught up and my second oldest brother is like 100 episodes or 200 episodes ahead of me i'm on episode 500. these are not my stuff so i don't want to uh like well on them so much but they're really cool oh i didn't even realize that i had this here these are some of my stuff uh this is how i got through college my brother got me this when he visited uh kyoto i have a couple like you know when things just like have to be somewhere so here are my swords and my ace hat that are just chilling up here Yep. And this is one of the coolest things in the apartment. This freaking tapestry. 
it makes me really really happy it wasn't like it like wasn't up it was just like as a throw on our couch for a long time and i was like i need this to be up front and center so that i can stare at it next we have our little setup i have everything set up to stream i will i just need some time i have some art here this is kind of embarrassing that's my channel thing but uh, my friend from Toronto designed it for me, so I printed it out because <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I need to, like, be careful because I think I have, like, things on here. Um, my friends over at Geek Nami did that for me, like, years ago now. Um, but it was, I literally had, like, 100 or 200 followers, so very sweet of them. My loud as shit. My loud as shit thing. Kakyoin. <laughs> and also this little this little fun guy. Uh things are always happening. I'm always working on something, so things are happening. Don't look at that, that's shameful. <laughs> this dude. So dope. Um, so I know that you guys really care about interior design, but we have this like little area where we have like a breakfast nook. That's the type of situation that we have instead of a formal dining room. So in order to s separate it, I have to make sure like no addresses get shown, but we did this little split wall. And I think it's like, it just came out so well. It's so straight. Um, my brother did it. <laughs> I feel very fortunate to have like three very capable brothers. This is how we deal with the um, dryness. I have an air purifier for dust that comes in when uh, we open the windows and I have a humidifier for uh, when it gets really dry, which it does tend to. This is some of the art. I can't explain to you how upsetting this area is. So I do have to reconfigure it. But I have some new things that you guys probably wouldn't have seen. That one, I think Sam got it for me at Oticon. And these are really, really cool. I got these at Colossal Con East from a really cool artist. I will put his name up, like, right here. Uh, Itachi and Zoro. Uh, we love cool guys. So it was my partner's birthday a couple weeks ago, and I was, like, I planned a surprise party, and I made these little banners. They looked better before, but now we've just done the uh, Gen Z millennial thing where we leave things up forever. And um, we were playing a lot of Crisis Core and Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I made these little like um, die cuttings of Sephiroth, Cloud, this dude. Tifa and Aerith. Because, um, how to say, I meant to order some really cheap Amazon, um, things, but they just didn't turn out. Um, or actually, I just forgot, and then I had to make them myself. Here is sewing supplies. It's actually empty right now, but sewing supplies are going into it. I know that I haven't been, like, the best at posting recently, but... I'm just like kind of, you know, going through it as you do. Air, air fryer, air fryer, air fryer. Can you see myself? No, you can see my little reflection. Um, Mr. Coffee Maker, it's not my only coffee maker. 
This is our little Bulbasaur. I, t I think I did show it to you guys that our kitchen is um, Pokemon themed. So we have like, this is for sugar, it has a little Pikachu tail. I made all of these with my Cricut and I'm sure that this being next to a window is like infecting it. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> um, now you can see like what happened to all these things that I showed you guys. Um, it's not like great. I also, I got these. These rugs are so cute. These rugs from a New York artist. I went to H more yesterday. Or an artist that's often at New York conventions. Um, I think it's... Oh, I can't remember. I'll put up there at, like, right here. Oh my god, this is lit literally the sweetest thing ever. I was thinking about buying this for Halloween candy. For the, you know, the children, as you do. And, like, a week later, it was sold out. And a week later, our friends came over. And they gave this to us as a housewarming gift. I just thought it was so cool. Here is my Hydro Flask. I just saw something that absolutely killed me the other day. That was like a Hydro Flask users look like a woman of the night with lanterns. And mine is yellow, so going out into the night with my lantern. <laughs> jokes, jokes. Um, big fan of reusable containers. I got these at, I think, Daiso. I just, yeah, refill them as needed. Nothing special going on. Lots of gray. We didn't choose this, um, but it's happening. I think I've probably shown most of these to you guys. I got this when I was studying in Nagoya when I was in college. Fudge. My Haikyuu glass. These are little old-fashioned whiskey glasses. Parfait glasses. Oh, those I did show you. Our shot glasses. I think these are the only shot glasses we have, and they are Pride Month. My one is the group mom. Duh. Uh, I got these at a, at a Bunny Williams... Um, showroom. They were having like a, a sale, so I got them. These little celebration Hello Kitty cups. They're so cute. I love to have water or lemonade in it. Nothing special here. This is how we've done our little plate. When we bought this, we hadn't even closed on the place, too. Uh, it just... How to say? We were just really hoping that everything would go right. Uh, and thankfully, they did. More Hydro Flask Starbucks cups so that I can pretend like I can afford to buy Starbucks every day. Um, Nutribullet things. I have a Nutribullet RX. I absolutely love it. That was like the most old person thing that I've ever said. Ooh, that was loud. This is something that like you can only buy at H Mart. These like, well not just H Mart, but Korean stores. These little metal sauce holders. Bro, are you kidding me? If you're like us and you need to have like a bajillion sauces, don't look at that. Like, there's more. But a bajillion sauces. So good. For chicken nuggets. Don't look at that. <laughs> um, here's our other, like, drink station. Nutribullet for smoothies and whatnot. Honey for tea. And sometimes coffee. And then my drip coffee Chemex. Which 
My doctor told me to have less caffeine, so I haven't been using this as much last month, but I do absolutely love Tyra, not Tyra, Tia Maori Life Set from Amazon. This is like kind of a mess right now, but um, we're real. In this thing is PG Tips. Hojicha, which is like my, I, I think it's like my tea of choice. If I just want a regular tea, this or masala chai. Um, we are absolutely going through this chamomile. Bulk oats that I haven't put into a container yet. Just like so many things. This could be better organized. But we um, both are neurodivergent living here, so it's not. Um, we go through sugar so slowly. I think when we first moved in, we bought like a small thing of sugar. And we just finished up. This is something that I actually buy so often. Like, it's not, well, every week is so often. Like, something that I buy every time I go grocery shopping. Because we make risotto. And I cannot be... Eric, shut up. Uh, we're also, like, kind of gym bros. So, like, you're not gonna find too much unhealthy things freaking golden curry quick cut oh quick quick cut quick cut oats chia seeds tuna blah blah i actually the only reason i got a nutribullet other than to make smoothies was to make pina coladas so we do have cream of coconut on there uh the famous if eric could shut up That'd be cool. I have just random pieces of linen everywhere. I don't want to talk about it. That was my stomach making weird noises. Tap on. Pikachu. I just realized I wasn't like making noises at all. I was just explaining things, but whatever. Um, something. If you want to live in New York. One thing that you're going to have to accept is that not every unit has a washer dryer. But ours does. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. Not much going on here. We have like spices. Uh, some folders because I don't know actually why. Like we go to BJ's fairly often so we just like have things that we can buy in bulk cardamom lots of stuff i actually i want to stop buying these kinds of um seasoning mixes i just don't like them and i find that i don't like that i can't control the amount of salt lots of you know italian seasoning Red pepper, uh, we have some cumin in the back there. Uh, jira, turmeric, whatever. Furikake is a must. Not too much left in here. And just random stuff. All my baking stuff is on the top. I know that it, like, I was gonna put this away, but I didn't, so it's whatever. All of, I feel like it doesn't, you can't tell how many, that's our little unhealthy you are. Look how, and that's it. Behind that is granola bars. So we're doing pretty well. Fuck. <laughs> we're doing pretty well. But, you know. Who's your favorite Naruto character? Mine is Gara because I'm emo. So that was it. It's pretty small, but it's not like 
a terrible size. Oh, there's also my bedroom, but it's like not designed yet. So I'll maybe do like a bedroom tour in the summer or something. Cause I need to get like a bunch of like furniture and stuff like that to redo it. And we have to hang some stuff. So that was it. I hope that you like this, whatever this is. I hope that you like this and I'll probably, because this was really low effort, I might be back with another video like next week or so. I just had like a weird busy couple of weeks because I had to, you know, do stuff, visit my grandma.